let's go over to the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Which asteroid is the deadliest of them all? NASA admits there's a chance that asteroid 2013 Texas 68 could smash into Earth. Asteroid Texas 68 could hit us in 2017 on September 28th. So I check. I'm like, hey, what's going on with Texas asteroid 68? And the top stories are NASA has said the massive asteroid 2013 Texas 68 could smash into Earth. And NASA admits there is a chance a 100 foot wide asteroid hurtling towards Earth could hit us. Oh, geez. All right. There you go. NASA admits there is a chance a 100 foot wide asteroid hurling towards Earth could hit us. No matter what, it's coming close and it's going to be an adventure. The thing is, I knew that NASA admitted that it could hit us, but they admitted that. We're talking about asteroid 2013 Texas 68. I thought about fear mongering it up before with the title, you know, giving a sensational title like this. I'll probably do it on this one. So if I did it and you came here and you learned this and you're mad, I don't care because NASA did admit there's a chance it's going to hit us in more than a year. Humanity is expected to survive its close encounter with a space rock next week, but we're not out of danger just yet. Well, sweet. NASA has dramatically changed its mind about the risks posed by asteroid 2013 Texas 68, a 100 foot wide rock, which is currently heading towards Earth. It said there's a chance it could plow into our planet next year when it makes another flyby. The odds are no more than one in 250 million. You got a better chance of dying on the highway, people. You got a better chance of the elevator not working and dropping you 12 floors to the ground and smashing you like human pudding but whatever you know if you want to get mad at me because i use a sensational title that they used and go right ahead i could have probably not used that title but i did and here you are here we are give me a hug forgive me so what do we know we just don't know a lot about this weird ass asteroid there have been a lot of asteroids coming in in the same time window of the third to the fifth to the eighth they found two on the same day they passed and both passed at about 0.5 lunar distances, 0.6 lunar distances. There's a 1.1, one, one, 1. 1.6. So it's like we had a whole pageant of Miss Texas 68 contenders during this window time span. I wonder what the grand finale is going to be. Right? Nothing. That happens most of the time with this shit, man. Asteroid Fight Club doesn't get as much fighting as you'd imagine from the title. Stay cool. Thor News presents Zoo. You're right, sir. Asteroids are close. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. This is space. There's space all over the place. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Okay, so asteroids, specifically Asteroid 2013 Texas 68. I don't even know what's going on. I'm so confused. And I'm not even sure that any or all of the asteroid data isn't a hoax bucket to be dumped on our heads. Nobody wants to get the hoax bucket on their head. But it's like, why can't y'all put up a bunch of CubeSats in the asteroid belt and we can watch them fly by? Is that shit too hard for you? They were like, Texas 68 is going to come close to Earth March 5th, but it's not going to hit the Earth until possibly 2017. But don't worry. And I was like, oh. It was coming 0. 0.44 lunar distances away. And it changed. It was like, okay, we nailed it now. We think we found it. Although, none of the things say they found it again. She was here on JPL. The last time they even saw it was 2013, man. So they changed the orbit up to the 8th. And now it's 13 lunar distances away. When we look at the minimum distance, it says 0. 0.0002 AU, which works out to be. And I was like, thank you, darling. So I'm looking for the latest articles on asteroid Texas 68. Kim Commando Komodo Dragon, America's digital goddess. What does all that mean? I have no idea. What she says, three days ago. NASA miscalculates asteroid Texas 68's flyby by three days. Just how close will space rock come to Earth? What? Is that sentence wrong? It should be just how close will this space rock, the space rock, come to Earth. It's missing a word, I think. Anyway. This is Justin Ferris speaking for the Kim Commando Komodo Dragon show or whatever. I'm confused. See, everything about Texas 68 is so confusing. It's always an event when a large asteroid comes anywhere near Earth. Actually, it's most often a non-event. <laughs> you know, I've covered quite a few of these asteroids, Lady Justin. And, uh, yeah. It's an internet article event. It's an online doom and gloom itch event. Whatever. We've all seen enough disaster movies to know what would happen when asteroids and the Earth collide. Now you're talking about asteroids and Earth. I thought we were just talking about one asteroid here. You know, not multiples. You know, BP's been saying, 
It's a clump. That's why NASA tries to keep track of any large objects headed in Earth's direction. Doesn't NASA know there's do, do not. There's no try, chump. See, Sith don't know anything, really. Okay, so yeah, and they were saying asteroid 2013 Texas 68 could hit Earth next year. Now, I think they might have changed their tone, but I don't know, who knows? NASA's weird. They need an interpreter or some shit. That's why NASA tries to keep track of any large objects headed in Earth's direction. Even though it's a tough job, given how large space is. How large is space, lady? Space is all over the place. But how all over the place? Like, how deep and wide does all over the place go? I really want to know if I want to go crazy, because that's probably one of the unknowables. Unless you're a scientist. Then you can find out anything. You just pick a number and go with it. Make that shit up. Ain't nobody even know. Ain't nobody gonna verify where the final wall of the universe is. Like it's a quadzillion light years away. And then there's just a giant brick wall there. And that's where the universe ends. You, what are you gonna do? Verify it, buddy? Unverify it? You can't unverify the end of the universe. You can't verify it either, really. But you can take a calculator and a degree, write a white paper, and win a no Nobel, Nobel, Nobel Prize. That's why even when NASA picks up an object, it can sometimes get the details wrong. That's a weird sentence. That's why even when NASA picks up an object, you mean like a woman or a man or a rocket? You mean like climate change data? It can sometimes get the details wrong. That's what happened with the approaching asteroid 2013 Texas 68. It's throwing off a lot of glare from the sun and it's only the size of a blue whale. So it's a bit hard to see exactly what it's doing. No, they lost it, man. They totally lost it. They don't know where it is. And it's got condition code 8, which means they really kind of, they got some guesses, more of a guess, less of a theory. But I don't know, it depends on who you ask. It's like someone took a space dump of clumps, asteroid rocks. However, when it comes by again next year, it has a chance of hitting Earth. Dun, dun, dun. I, I smell a sensational title coming on. NASA admits asteroid could strike Earth next year, but I have to put that part in the title. That's what's funny. It's, oh yeah, I don't have to worry about the doom because, uh, that's not until next year, September, I do believe. And so you get at least one more Halloween. You get at least one more Christmas, one more, uh, Thanksgiving. That's, uh, assuming we don't have World War III or global currency collapse. I'm rooting for neither. Uh, I'm planning for neither because, uh, you can't really plan for either one of those. I mean, if the world sucks so bad, you don't really want to hang around that much. I wouldn't think. And the sun's been acting weird, so I've been acting weird, and this video may be weird. So you'd be like, hey, Thor, are you in a tiny little box surrounded by giant jello people? And the answer's no. That's a weird question. But uh, yeah, so we're just trying to figure out about this asteroid, man. And this solar wind and stuff, mix it and touch it, and we'll see. Anyway, let's hope they can get a picture again. I'll keep you posted, maybe. Oh, let's give her space weather. What's up in space? What's weird space weather? Because they know freaking everything about freaking everything about nothing. Because there's an a See, that's a bunch of red and shit. That's a lot of red. It's a lot of pink. It's a lot of beige. On March 3rd, we had 2016. Everything's gravy. 28. Passed by 1.9 lunar distances. Also on the 3rd, we had 2016. Everything's kangaroo. 1.5 lunar distances. And then we had... 2016 Dungeon Master 1, 5.9 lunar distances. And also on March 3rd, we had 2016 DUI 1, wait, what? We had 2016 Dolly Up 1, 13.1 lunar distances. And then on 4th, we had one, 2016 Evangelism Legacy 1, 0.6 lunar distances. The 5th, Everything's Groovy 1, 1.1 lunar distances. The 5th, again, 2016 Dick Nuggets 2, 1.8 lunar distances. So yeah, we ain't got our big boy, Texas, whatever, this one. Highlighting's tough. I'm gonna go to highlighting school, so I can highlight stuff. Okay, yeah, they changed that to March 8th, 13 lunar distances. But it sounds like a pack, a swarm, a gang of asteroids, a clump. And last I heard, they lost it. They lost the asteroid. So how can they be changing everything if they haven't refound the asteroid? I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, it could hit us 17 months. But that's like a year and a half away, so who has to give a crap, man? Who has to give a crap about real problems that might we might face in a year and a half from now? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it could hit us in a year. 
And based on, they don't seem to know shit about this and they can't even find it. They don't know nothing. We don't know nothing. So just stay tuned to this weird ass story. But yeah, we could all die in a year and a half or whatever. We could all die sooner from nuclear war or economic collapse or alien EMPs or fucking Disney lice weaponized. Just crap shit will happen.